Hi folks, my name is Kirill with Simply Works and Electronics and today we're gonna install a smart swamp cooler board um, at my parents' place. So this is my dad and this is my daughter Elena. Right. So things you're gonna need, you're gonna need a smart swamp cooler board. Uh, you might, you're gonna need enclosure of some sort. If you don't have one, you can just go to Home Depot and pick one that works. So this board actually fits inside. If you buy enclosure from me, I'll give you some screws and some uh, little caps that you can put on the sides. Um, what else do you need? You might need a drill and drill bits, but maybe not, who knows. You definitely need thermo thermostat. You might have one on the wall, but for this particular installation, we, we will be using separate thermostat. You might want a digital multimeter. I don't know, it's up to you. Might be useful. Wire strippers, for sure, you're gonna need those. And you're gonna need a screwdriver, screwdriver for sure. I like this. Google Nest ones because it's a two-sided so you can use you know a little skinny one and a Phillips one You're gonna need wider cutters and you know just standard um, Standard electrician kind of kit you definitely gonna need a thermostat cable uh, I suggest using five strand uh, just to, And you definitely gonna need a stroller to occupy your baby while you installing this thing all right let's go in all right welcome home all right so first thing first you have to cut the power to the evaporative cooler otherwise there's a chance of electric shock and obviously you don't want to get shocked um oh, yeah. apparently Vlad forgot which one he used for the job. Swamp code. Yes. I guess that's it, swamp code. Let's oh. check. Oh it's a swamp cooler, it's just a bad writing, that's uh -huh. what it is. So obviously don't trust your electrician and double check that there is no power no on, power on your wire, so you know. Okay, you have some fancy checker. No, right. this is power. All right. In the planning stages, just you know, you gotta, you want to think about how you're gonna run the cable. So most likely, you'll install the board somewhere in the cavity up there, and then run the thermostat cable down to this um, this space, and that's where we we'll install a new thermostat. All right, so as you can see, the electrician installed this junction box, so we just gonna replace it with uh, our new enclosure. And instead of reusing, instead of wiring a new thermostat cable, we just gonna reuse the cables that we have already. Um, so that's the plan. All right, so while my dad is working on that junction box, basically gonna disconnect the, the two sections so we can place the board in the middle. While he's doing that, I'm gonna drill uh, some holes in this enclosure so we can mount my board inside of this enclosure. Let's go. All right, I'm just gonna cut this template out because it'll be easier to work with. So it's gonna be actually installed like this. So one, two thermostat connections here and the um, power connections here. So I'm just gonna line it up, you know, have some extra space, but line it up to the right top corner. Okay.
So if I remember correctly, 1 8 is the perfect drill bit for it. So that's what I'm going to use. And obviously use eye protection. I'm just gonna use sunglasses because it's sunny outside. All right, let's do some drilling. One more thing, I'm just gonna clean up the debris and I'm just using a bigger drill bit to just, you know, basically get rid of this little debris. Well, sometimes it doesn't work that well, but all right, that, that time it worked. Okay. Once everything is installed, you can just, you have some grounding spots, but the box is going to be grounded, obviously, because the mounting points on the board are all connected to the ground, and we are using metal standoff, so, you know, it's all going to be connected to ground. All right, so next I'm just gonna install the board inside of the enclosure. So just, you should have some hardware with your board. So just gonna install the standoffs. Decided to do some very important, which is placing some stickers on this box, which is obviously a very important thing to do. Okay, perfect, much better. All right, neck outs are removed. Some. All right, moving to the next stage, installing the box. All right, so we installing the box now. We're gonna put this nut that was there before. Okay. later we have our power and our um, evaporative cooler connections connected so now we just need to connect thermostat side and we'll be ready to connect thermostat itself so here is the final product of our installation the board is installed um, the only thing that is left is the thermostat Right, we're in the process of putting thermostat on the wall. Ready for the plate. All right, we finished connecting thermostat, so I just need to place thermostat and test. This is like cutting a red ribbon, basically. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. That's it. So, just need to turn on power. All right, so we're gonna turn on power. The first sign that everything's okay is, yeah, so everything's okay, so now it's a set. And I don't quite remember what that means.
So we just, you missed it, but we just tested the... Um, you want one, one more time? The pump turned on first and then the fan and there was a 15 second 15. delay between the two. One more time? Sure, yeah, why'd you turn it off? You should keep it on. I just uh, do... One, two... Oh. Well, there's no delay because... Second it, time. Yeah, it remembers. So if you wouldn't run it for a while, then it would have a delay. But because you just ran it, the delay wasn't there. So. But yeah, it's, as you can see, it's in a cool mode. And, well, he turned it off, but, but the towel was going and then the fan was going too. So, yeah, another happy installation.